Good morning. Here we are with scooter vlog number two. Today I'm out here on my 2003 uh, Yamaha Zuma Bug Eye. This one is uh, something I just traded another bike for, another pre bug. And it came highly modified. Um, when I got it, it had a Stage 6 uh, Mark II Sport 70cc aluminum cylinder. It also had a Polini 4 race exhaust. And uh, right now it actually still has stage six, 1343 gears, which aren't very useful to me because I detuned the bike. I had a uh, Naraku 70cc kit sitting around from my other bug eye and I I found uh, an exhaust, a stock exhaust, and airbox and carburetor, and I basically detuned the bike. Um, that was after I had figured out that the Stage 6 kit that was on there from the previous owner was pretty much shot. The piston had all kinds of damage to the top of it, and I just didn't necessarily feel like spending another $100 on, on a piston. The cylinder itself, the Nikoso plating and all that was, was good, but just wasn't worth it for me to spend the 90 bucks or I think it's $100, $99 for another piston. But uh, yeah, since I got it, really all I've done is the the NCY bar stem and these Pro Taper bars. I uh, cleaned up, cleaned it up for the most part. I still have some decals that I have to take off so I can put my own on there. I added the little BMX pegs in case I dropped the bike while I'm wheeling it. Um, I have a brand new set of Dunlop tires for it. I have a couple other goodies. I, uh, it actually is a really nice scooter uh, all in all. Like it's fairly clean. And then uh, it has a Naraku CNC clutch bell with a Polini 3G adjustable clutch and a Melosi Multivar, that all came on the bike. And like I said, it has the, the Sage 6 1343 gears, which I happen to have another Bug Eye Zuma case that has all the original gears. So I'm gonna be doing a gear swap probably today. No, it won't be the same day this video comes out, but it'll probably be later on today. And then, uh, yeah, I'm basically trying to make this like the uh, the chubby, younger sister of my, my black and yellow pre-bug, which I did the first scooter vlog with. And I intend on painting the wheels, same bronze, uh, put on those new tires. I'm gonna do the yellow headlight tint. Eventually I wanna get the gold BMX pegs for back here. I'm gonna paint the rack black. I'm gonna paint the CVT cover black. Uh, I have like a cheapo gauge right now, this run leader gauge. And uh, it works, it works good for, I guess, the price. And uh, the bike came with one of them on it, but the battery was dead and I had already bought one. So I just threw it on there to see what would happen. And it works okay. I mean, I don't know how accurate it is. I have a trail tech on my other Bug Eye Zuma, which uh, works great. You know, like I, I've never really had an issue. I haven't blown up an engine because of it or anything like that, so. But that's basically it. It still needs a bit of cleaning. I have to, you know, just give it a nice scrub down and polish. It's kind of dirty and I guess the previous owner crashed it a bit because there's some scuffing in all the black plastics and stuff like that and that and stuff that I don't really necessarily mind or care to replace at the moment just because like I know I'm gonna kind of beat on the bike and possibly drop it so. But all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I had traded my white pre-bug Zuma, which I didn't have a ton of money invested into, but I'd say altogether, including the cost of the bike, I had about 900 to to $1,000 invested in that bike. And uh, with all of the stuff that this one came with, it came with a whole nother engine, a Malosi full circle crank, um, the stage six cylinder, which needs a piston. It came with the exhaust. It came with a whole nother frame 
it came with another seat bucket a seed an exhaust and and it came with everything basically everything and two of everything and then i have a whole nother set of, of cases and uh yeah i just thought it was a pretty good deal because i have at the moment four other pre-bugs so now i have two bug eyes and four pre-bugs and and uh that's it you know i'm i'm really overly into these these bug eye zoomas but well, I have bug eyes pre-bugs all of that but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get the camera on my my chest mount and i'm gonna try and do some wheelies this bike does not like to wheelie very well just based on the fact that it has the taller gearing so once i get past a certain speed and rpm it just does not want to pull the gears any further and that's you know because the exhaust limits the the rev range and then i have the factory airbox back on with the factory carburetor and uh i just upjetted it for the 70 cc kit i still have or it had a stage six manifold on it but i took the actual manifold off and i left the reed block in and i i put the dual stage reeds on so that you know all, all of these things would make it a nice peppy like super low down torquey bike but the gearing is just killing me and uh i just got to swap those out for the factory gears because i'm not i'm not looking for high speed runs or anything of the sort i'm, I'm more or less looking for uh just the torque and the wheelie factor of it all i i don't i don't really care to be going super fast on these little scoots it's not my goal i mean it's cool and all and i have a pre-bug that i did a horizontal minarelli swap to that is my intended go fast bike so maybe all the parts from this will end up on there with a new a new piston for that cylinder but as of right now i just want them to be low down torque and peppy peppy just to get the front the front wheel off the ground easily and then keep it up there you know at a relatively quick pace like 30 miles an hour 25 30 miles an hour but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on my chest and just get a few wheelies i've already rambled on for too long so the video is not going to be that long after this but yeah enjoy scooter vlog number two on the 2003 bug eyes Numa. so here we are i'm gonna go ahead and give it a little rip it rained on me before so i'm back out here again this is scooter vlog number two and uh i'm gonna try and rip some wheelies on this thing real fast the gearing sucks and it makes it almost impossible with the low power that it has, but we'll see what I can do.
take a little air out of the back tire.
not too bad with the gearing. I might leave it. When I get a pipe, it'll make a difference. As you can see, it does have a bit of trouble doing wheelies. It, uh, it just doesn't like to keep the front end up after I reach a certain speed. It kind of just, not bogs, but it just doesn't have the power to pull the gears. It's, uh, it's kind of like hindering its wheelie capabilities. But all in all, it still does pretty good. And that's it. I'll try and post a clip of what it's like after I did the gear swap. Uh, here's a few pictures of what it looks like now with the custom rear rack, uh, painted wheels, painted forks, painted rack. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll have some more videos up soon.